so yeah, it brings back pretty special memories um, to be here and watching other people experience that for themselves. That first time you turn around and yeah, see the see the qualifying time and see the place that you need to get. Um, it's a, it's yeah, I think I like ugly cried. <laughs> So that was a bit embarrassing, but um, yeah, it was in the 200 freestyle. I actually qualified on uh, one of the first first nights, um, and I got fourth. So yeah, qualified for the relay. And, yeah, it was just really overwhelmed by the whole, the whole thing. Yeah, sometimes I think the Olympic trials sometimes probably a little bit more of a pressure cooker to make that team. We've seen some extraordinary stars this week. We've seen some world records, 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 some Australian so records. His one was like 200 meters. I was like, oh, you know, I'm going to head over. And it will be my job. Five, four, six, five, four, nine for Thomas and Sean. As these three men, they go head to head here. No one's letting anyone go. Goffman in four, Neil in five, and Sean in lane number three. Just keeping an eye on each other. This is the last race here, the 2021 Australian Swim Trials. I'm joined by Olympic gold medalist Brittany Elmsley. And take us through that Olympic gold medal in, in Rio. It was a world record in that 4x1 freestyle relay for women. And is it, is it a little bit sweeter when you get to share it with your teammates? Yeah, relays are the best. Like, they're actually so much fun. Um, I much prefer racing in relays than, yeah, individuals. because. Yeah, it's a bit less lonely and um, you get to share those really special moments uh, with three other girls and um, yeah, win, win a medal for Australia is even sweeter but I can't actually remember much of the race itself, like most, most of the best races are actually um, on autopilot so yeah, you kind of, your body just takes over and that's what you do with the training for um, so your body does the right thing when you're not really in it bit of an out of body experience but yeah. um, definitely remember touching the wall and the celebration I after it. when the okay. cake touched the wall and that we actually like, uh, got a world record. Um, yeah. I ugly cried once again so maybe that's the thing that I did but yeah it, it's I'll never forget those moments and um, it's just so good to see all the girls coming through that uh, those relay events and it just shows the years of depth that we've had in those freestyle events and um, yeah, I'm really excited to go through and to see what they can do. Yeah, it's very exciting, it's been a very exciting last six days. Six day. This is the night number six, this is the final night as they come through, but Portland will go through that 800 meter mark, 755, 40, 755.71 for Neil. Short not letting him get away either, so Portland making a slight little Burst of speed. Can he shake these other two? Neil's not letting like him go. Short's not letting him go either. They've turned through that 800 meter mark. So, I've got done for that. Just about to come through. You've been done for like underwater. Over that half line. Here we go. It's the last race of the championships. It's awesome to see like three boys up the front there keeping each other company. Because I'm sure it would be a bit lonely if you were just out the front on your own. Yeah, but Lockheed yeah, looks like he's having a bit of a move now. He's out by about half the body length. He's saying, hey, I'm going to go. I'm with me, boys. It's making a bit of a race. It's so fun. We've got some coverage. It's called take him off. And the block will take us through. We're all three. I'm going to take him off. On that pace now, that qualifying time takes 14.55. Sorry, 6.5. On that pace now, all three of them. Two individual spots. Three of them are going for it. McLaughlin just makes that slight lead now. Sam Short trying to hold on to him. Tommy Neal trying to hold on to him as well. Sam Short broke that famous Kieran Perkins record at the Australian Age Nationals not too long ago. So he's in red hot form with a 1500 meter freestyle. He broke in that 800 meter freestyle. So boy, Tommy Neal, only 19 years of age as well. So with you. these guys. Chasing McLaughlin, who's got plenty of experience. Oh, yeah. I used to train with Jack um, McLaughlin at that team college back in the day. And Jack is probably one of the hardest <laughs> trainers I've ever seen. Um, yeah, he just gives it absolutely everything each and every training session. And it's just so good to see him out here swimming so well. And 
especially in that 400 free first night. Um, just to get up and get on the team that first night, I'm sure that took a lot of pressure off him uh, for the, the rest of his events. And yeah, he's just really um, done so well this week. Yeah, we talk about pressure, Brit, at the Olympics. And these Olympic trials have had some pretty big pressure. Do you remember feeling any pressure in a relay event? I think my With the four girls trying, you know, up all the your split for that relay team, and you don't want to let your teammates down either. So, what was the pressure line before that relay gold medal in 2016 in Rio? I think the pressure actually brings the best out of you. Um, I think that's why everyone seems to swim a lot faster in the relays than they do in their individuals. I think that camaraderie um, as a team, and you just you don't want to let the team down. You're just there to do the best in two laps that you can. In a 4x100. Oh, dude, um, it's a And yeah, you, you just find a next level. You They're find right on pace. And you just, yeah, you're having so much fun while doing it as well. That's what I like to hear. Pretty fun. Swimming is very fun. Hold on for another 400 meters. And watching these men in the 1500 meter freestyle They're is very fun. Ago. This will start to hurt now, though, I'm sure. Shorty the same with hurting. him. The lactic acid is building those shoulders going a little bit red. You can see as well in the men. Sam Short just trying to hold on. He's running that qualifying time pace there. So it's a block left on turn there. By a band. Just a body length. So he's turned on that kick. You can see underwater on the big screen. Nice high elbows working through that core. Those legs are there. And Sam Short right on that lane rope trying to get any wash he can off the block left. And Tommy Neal looks like he's just fallen off that pace a little bit there. Sam Short, only 17 years of age. Under. He's under that qualifying pace at the moment. McLaughlin will go through 11.55, 8.7, 11.57, 1.2 for Short. So Adam Lane will be there for Sam Short. Sam Short has been in the top 10 for a long time. He's had so many good moments. 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 He's had this is where it really hurts. And McLaughlin, your 2018 Commonwealth Games gold medalist. You went 14 47 in 2018. Good to see. Loving the big championships. And he's building his way through this 1500. And Griff, he looks very good. Your old training partner, Jack McLaughlin, in lane number four. He looks fantastic. He's really just picked up the pace there. Come on, Jordy, come on. Come on. It's good to see he's got something left. But yeah, he'll start building into this last bit and he'll be listening for that, uh, that bell. And, um, yeah, I'm sure he's counting down the meters. He's going to go. I'm sure his legs are on fire. He's feeling that lactate. He probably feels sick in his stomach. But yeah, he's just pushing through this. And it's really good to see him picking it up. The stroke rate's lifting. Come on, Jordy, come on. He's looking really good. Yeah, he does make it look pretty easy, doesn't he? Jack McLaughlin in lane number four. Sam Short. Let's try and get behind him. He hasn't got far. He's got go, go. Go, go, Shorty, go. Can he stay on that ball? He's only 17 years old. Go, Shorty, come on. Come on! 